Is there a nuclear core breach in Japan? I'm here in Chetri. A leak discovered deep inside of a damaged reactor. We had breaking news just moments ago as well of a strong quake in northern Japan. We're going to be live with the latest in Tokyo in less than a minute. Good morning to you. Welcome. Glad you're with us on this American morning. Uh, you know, as if it's not enough what they're dealing with in Japan right now, uh, questions about whether there's been a breach to this core uh, in one of the reactors. On top of that, they're still dealing with pretty significant yeah. quakes. Another another big one just happened. And in Libya, uh, we've got a, a shift in power. The U.S. has been saying it does not want to continue to be the lead. Uh, there is news that now the control of that mission is going to be shifting over. Maybe by the weekend. All right, first to Japan, though, where we're going to tell you more about that quake that just shook and dangerously high levels of radiation a mysterious leak found inside reactor number three at the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Let's get right to Marty Savage. Uh, he is in Tokyo. Uh, first, Martin, you felt the, the most recent earthquake. We've been getting reports from Kyungla and others that there was a pretty strong quake in the region. Oh, yeah. Hello, everyone. Yeah, we definitely felt it up here. In fact, one of the things we remarked upon, because they are quite common, was the length of how much shaking there was going on up here. Uh, I think, all, all told, we are well over 700 aftershocks since the earthquake that struck here over two weeks ago. And then, of course, you have the concern over the radiation and the nuclear reactor situation, which was triggered by the earthquake that came after the tsunami that then followed. The Prime Minister was on national television tonight in a news conference, and you know what? He used very grim language to continue to describe the situation out there at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear facility. In fact, he said, quite frankly, they weren't even to a point where they might be optimistic that they will be able to avoid a disaster out there. Uh, here's the problem. You have those three workers that were exposed yesterday. Well, today it was learned that the exposure level of the water that they had been exposed to was 10,000 times what the radiation should have been in that area where they were working. And that indicates to the government that perhaps reactor number three, the most dangerous of all six reactors out there, could have a leak. If there is a leak, that is the reactor that is using both plutonium and uranium, and that would be very serious. Now, also today, the government quietly began telling people who live now up to 30 kilometers or roughly 19 miles from the plant that they, too, should begin moving. It's voluntary, but it also shows you how it is continuing to expand, and when you expand evacuation areas, you also expand the level of fear and concern. Christine?